Okay, pallet shed part number two. We've got the floor pretty much built for it. Uh, this part was going to be cut off. But what we had to do is pry up every single one of the planks, which is pretty difficult because they're thin wood. Um, pop them up, move them, re nail them back down. Here you can see we used some different sizes, so I left some gaps just to fill it because they, they don't fit exactly. But that's okay because the function of this. Um, it's eight feet one or two inches long this way. And this section right here is about four feet wide. Now what we did here is I broke down one pallet because obviously you know, only this is about the amount of boards you'd have on one pallet between my foot and my foot. So that's one pallet. This is another pallet mainly and then these two boards are from a different pallet but so what we had to do is for stringers um, I used the part of a pallet I already broke down put them halfway under nailed them in with a large nail to this pallet and then I lined them up with this other skeleton of a pallet and what I had to do is I actually had to move the stringers on this pallet to make them line up so I could nail them together. They're not nailed right now because this is going to be lifted in sections. So all I did was I floored this up until the point right here. And the stringers are going to meet it. I'll carry it back in two sections, lay it out on our foundation, nail it together, and then finish flooring the rest of the whole floor. So, my pallet stack's gone down a little bit. Now all I really have left to do is build walls. Over here you can see a bunch of the extra floorboards I have from breaking down. I broke down two total pallets so far. Well, three actually, but you can see these are the sections I use for the stringers. Uh, these are going to be trim boards, these wider ones. And then the 2x4s will be used to, on the bottom of the wall to support it and secure it to the pallet. Let's go check out where we're going to put this thing. <coughs> There's the bones. It's going to go in there. Here's my new boat. I'll get to that in a different video. Basically, as you can see, we have a lot of tires and junk back here. Just trying to clean it all up. So where that shed's going to go is going to go on the back side of this fence. And then we're going to tie it. We're going to cut the fence, put it right up to the fence, and tie it in. And it's going to go right in here, pretty much between these two big trees. So I got to move this whole pile of junk, compost, all that stuff over there has got to get moved too. I was going to put it over here, but it's so rocky that to move all these rocks would be very, some of them would be very difficult to move, and it's never going to be very level, so that spot actually makes more sense. The more deck and the plow can go in there. So, yep, that's what I'm going to work on today, digging that out so we can lay out our foundation. <laughs> 